Hello, I'm Stephen Sorrentino. Ian Finkel, to me, was one of the most consummate professionals, intense human beings, warm, caring, loving, yeah, people on this planet. When I met him, I was producing a show on a cruise ship and, and ultimately performing. I met him uh, within 13 seconds. I felt like I had found my long lost twin. Um, at night, we would sit at the back of the ship and smoke cigars and talk about old movies, which were my passion. We talked about Abbott and Costello. We knew the routines. We did them regularly. We talked about Laurel and Hardy. Um, Ian knew every character actor from the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and I thought I was the only weirdo in the world that knew these people. But my love of old movies, my love of real characters, made me love Ian. His musicianship was on another level, from another planet. Um, the amount of practicing he did and what he brought to the stage was truly magic. I had the good fortune of being with Ian and Elliot at the same time, and when we ate dinner together, it was like the Three Stooges. Um, our conversations after the shows with some espresso or cigars in the back of the ship and talking for hours and hours filled me with so much hope about the arts. Ian was art. He just was art. And he filled me with so much positivity. Even though he was a curmudgeon, as I am, he really wasn't. He truly was a warm angel. And I understood him. And I just admired him so much. And I take so many things that he told me and what he said to me and his teachings, I will take with me everywhere I go for the rest of my life. He is an angel. I will see him soon enough. I can't wait, and I've got a lot to tell him. I miss you. Thank you, Ian Finkel, for filling my heart with true artistry. And for you, let me just say, I love you, kid. <laughs>